Hey, Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement today. Last week in my morning time in the scripture, I came across a passage and it's in Psalm 59, we'll read it in just a second, that really spoke to my heart. Now, it wasn't the words that were spoken to my heart, but what got me is that David felt comfortable in his relationship with God to share the desires of his fleshly heart with God. Listen to what he writes, Psalm 59, uh, verse 12, and he's speaking of his enemies, and he says this, Because of the sinful things they say, because of the evil that is on their lips, let them be captured by their pride, their curses, and their lies. Destroy them in your anger. Wipe them out completely. Then the whole world will know that God reigns in Israel. Now, that didn't... That what, that's not what spoke to me. What spoke to me is this. Do you know what we can share with God? Everything. We can share the deep feelings and emotions of our heart with our Heavenly Father. Our, our angers and our fears. Um, things that even aren't of Him, we can still share with Him. Because One thing, you know why? <laughs> because He knows already. Okay? So there is, th this just showed me the, that we can just be blatantly honest to our Heavenly Father. But then here's the thing, he doesn't just say amen there. It actually says interlude, so I guess he went and took a break and kind of calmed down a little bit. Because listen to what he ends this prayer with, and it's in the 16th and 17th verse of Psalm 59. He says this, but as for me... I will sing about your power. I'll sing about your power. Every morning, I will sing with joy about your unfailing love, for you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I'm in distress. Oh, my strength. To you, I sing praises, for you, O oh God, are my refuge, the God who shows me unfailing love. So even though David had a freedom in sharing all of the, the thoughts and the desires of his fleshly heart, he still came back to the truth that God was his refuge. And with all of this churn going on around God, it's still you where I'm going to find my peace. It's still you where I'm going to find my safety and my refuge and I'm going to, what I'm going to sing about, he says, this is what I'm going to proclaim. I'm going to proclaim your joy and unfailing love. So sisters and brothers, whatever you find yourself in the middle of, share it with God. He knows already. But man, come back to who God is. I mean, we're talking about God Almighty. And let him be the song in your heart. That he is your refuge. He is your joy. And you claim his unfailing love. And today, be encouraged.